This thing is nice and cooked up. It's ready. All right. That's a big old steak. That's little. <laughs> this is a little? Sure. This looks like a cowboy rib out of me, man. My goodness. Nice, medium oh, rare. Oh, yeah, that's Beautiful perfect. color. Oh. Put it up there, baby. Great job. What's up, party people? Terrell Manning here. I'm the host of America's Best Restaurants. My travels brings me to Sheridan, Arkansas. I'm here at this place called Wright's Ranch House. I hear they got fried maters. I hear that they got ribeye steaks. Man, this place sounds like a cowboy's dream and everything in between. Let's go check this place out. Come on, y'all. Hey, Laura. Hey, how are you? I'm great, how about yourself? Good, so I have some appetizers for you to try. Okay. Um, this right here is our fried bologna sticks. Fried bologna sticks, mm -hmm. okay, interesting, never heard of it's, that. It's my favorite, it's very good. All right, I'm excited. Um, we also have our fried maters. Fried maters, yes. are they like fried great tomatoes? Yes, this is exactly so what I it is. This out. Fried maters, <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? And then we have our gunner bites. Gunner bites, what are these? It is a uh, baked potato, okay. and we cut it up, and then we put uh, shredded cheese and bacon on top, Ooh. and it's very good. Okay, very good. which one should I try first? They all look so darn good. Definitely the bologna sticks. All right, let's try this. What kind of sauce is with this? It is um, a mixture of our barbecue sauce, okay. and we have a, a special mixture in Other sauce, some secret <laughs> yes. sauces. Secret sauce, yes. That's really good. Yes, very that good. That is really, really good. This is not your grandmother's fried bologna. This is deep fried bologna. Yes. I've never heard of deep fried bologna. All right, what should I try next? Fried maters. Fried maters. That is so good. Last but not least, potatoes, bacon, cheese, three of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. A good combination together. Everything is so good already. Good. I'm so excited to see what else you guys got. Can I go check out the kitchen real yeah, quick? Yeah, you sure can. Let's cool. go. Let's go. I got Chef Matt here. He's gonna be on the grill. Matt, I hear you making me a ribeye steak, baby. I'm gonna do the best I can with it, so I'll try to give you the best steak you ever had. Okay, I uh, like that. Uh, is it dry aged? Is it dry wet? Aged, dry aged for 28 days. Season it, throw it on. You got secret seasoning, so I hate, I can't tell you that, but it'll make you fall in love with it. Okay. So. <laughs> All, right, All right, let's go ahead and start this process, man. What's in that seasoning, bro? I can't tell you. Can't tell me that. Like I said, it's a secret. Yeah, I know, I know. I figured I just try. America you're, wants to know what's you're in You're trying, it. but I can't <laughs> give it away. Man, how long have you been cooking here at a restaurant? I've been cooking for 10 years. Okay. How long have you been cooking overall? Well, I really didn't start cooking until I come into the restaurant. Okay. So I've done some home cooking, but now more or less for yeah. 10 and a half, almost 11 years. Okay. What is your association to the owner? I'm the son-in-law. Yo, you're the son-in-law. I am the son-in-law. So this is a true family it, business. It's true family business. True family business. So. Why do you guys like doing uh, ribeyes? Not everybody's able to do a ribeye. They're good. Of course, we, right? We, we have the 28 day dry stage, which really makes them taste a lot better. It gives you a lot more flavor than just this other. Right. So. It really sets the steaks off. I like that. It's got a nice marbling on it. It's got a real it nice the mar fat in there. The marbling is actually what makes the steak. All right, we're going to let this thing cook, put some nice diamond marks on there. We're going to come back, and I'm going to try the steak out, baby. All right, chef. This thing is nice and cooked up. It's ready. All right. That's a big old steak. That's little. <laughs> this is a little? Sure. This looks like a cowboy rib out of me, man. My goodness. My kids will devour that thing like it's nothing left of it. Yeah, it sounds like my seven-year-old. She loves ribeye. Oh. Let's see what you got in here, man. Nice, medium oh, rare. Oh, yeah, that's Beautiful perfect. color. Oh. Put it up there, baby. Great job. That's so good. I'm gonna go sit down with your father-in-law. We're gonna talk a little All bit. Right. I wanna get some more of his story, but man, good job, dude. No problem. Here. All right, so I've got a couple of the masterminds behind this place. I've got Mason and his daughter Megan, 
Guys, thank you all for sitting down with me and uh, feeding me, looks like, my goodness. Can you guys tell me what I'm about to dive into right here? We start off with dessert first. That's our homemade banana split. Okay, what's all uh, in this thing? Uh, it's got ice cream and bananas and pineapple and chocolate, strawberry, caramel, whipped cream, peanuts, cherries. You look like you were skinny and needed to eat some calories. Yeah, so I'm sure this, this is five pounds right here, man. And then what about this? I hear this is you guys' uh, famous chicken fried steak. Uh, that's one of our best items ever. Uh, okay. When I was 18 years old, I worked in a restaurant in Gilmer, Texas, and the man showed me how to make a chicken fried steak. Okay. So we hand cut them and tenderize them and bread them ourselves. And one of our very top items I'm that sure we have. I'm sure it is. I'm but I sure remember that from being a kid to right. working in a restaurant to he brought yeah, it here. Brought it here. So it seems like you guys bring a lot of your life experiences into this restaurant, and you just you're able to share that with your customers and with your guests in here. I saw a couple of things that you shot down. I saw a couple of hogs and the deer. Or so you guys like yeah. hunting? Seems like we love hunting. Yeah, we live to hunt. And if we're not hunting, we're mud racing in the summertime, <laughs> and fishing in the spring when the crappie are biting. And right, your son right. is a championship award-winning uh, mud racer. Right? He's one of the best there is in in our class. He's right. got records in Alabama and Florida. And, Love it. Uh, he's nicknamed the Big Block Killer. We run a small block <laughs> Chevrolet okay. truck, and uh, he's whooped a bunch of big, you know, high dollar big blocks. Really? So he gets the nickname Big Big Block Killer. Uh, what kind of what kind of truck is he driving? He's a 08 Chevrolet. Pickup truck. Okay, Silverado. So Silverado. Okay, very nice. You really like cutting with your dad, don't you? I can tell you guys oh, yeah. really, really enjoy doing that stuff together. But on the restaurant side, what does it mean to be able to work here with your dad and really with your entire family here? Oh, it's really nice because like basically it seems like everyone Whenever we, someone new starts, somehow we end up being related and take right. them in. We're all basically end up family right. at the end of the day. And we all, it's nice because we can all just like take care of each other and we don't have to, you, you know. Have to worry about like, anything. Yeah. Uh, there is a couple of customers downstairs that I got a chance to talk to. And I thought, I thought they were related to you all. Honestly, I, I thought they were family then. To come to find out, they're just everyday customers that come in here. I've eaten just about everything. I've tried it all. It's good. <laughs> Wright's is, and especially Mason's, very generous, uh, very involved in the community, and does a lot to help out the different organizations. It's a big impact on the community. You have people that come in here every day. They have been for for years. Why? Why are you guys able to, or how are you guys able to gain that type of clientele and that type of customer base? Uh, my thing is just and being friendly with them when they're here and get to know them and know their name and stuff and provide them good food, you know. Yeah. Everything we put on the menu, with the exception of liver, and I'm not eating liver. <laughs> <laughs> something, something our family No liver, is. no onions, a little bit <laughs> no, of gravy. No, no, no. <laughs> so many people love that liver. liver they onions. come all the time for that I'm liver. I'm not and a I liver, liver and onions fan. I like everything, not liver and onions. <laughs> <laughs> but just everything we cook is something we pride in our family of cooking and right. you know having a good flavor and everything. That's how we base our whole menu. Like I if we know. wouldn't eat it and serve it at home, we, we're not gonna serve it You're to not you. gonna serve it here. You're not gonna serve it here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mason, what has been the most challenging thing about having a restaurant? And now you, you guys have two locations, right? We have two. Well, these days is getting enough help to run them right. properly. You know, uh, we do a lot of business, and sometimes I, I tell customers, I said, I got all the business, I got help to run. You know, we actually close an extra day now because you can't get enough help to run all the days we choose to run. Right. But that just, it's, you know, the life we live in these it's days. A, it's a life we live in, especially after coming, out, come, coming out of COVID. Talk a little bit about the second location. What are the differences between this location and the second location, and where is it? Oh, the first location was in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. We opened January 8, 2010, and eight inches of snow. Little, little, <laughs> little brick and mortar building, little bitty. Uh, bought from an old man that wanted to retire, and we bought it. We started just selling barbecue. Okay. But at the whole time, I had the dream of doing, you know, similar to what we have now. Right. Well, while we operated in that little building, me and my son rebuilt the other building, larger building, like 2,500 square foot. You uh, built it. Well, it had burned. It was right. a, had a new roof and two before studs inside, and we went back and forth, you know, building. We'd go over there and work, and. My wife would call or she would call and say, hey, we got a big ticket, you need to come help. <laughs> We'd dust the sawdust off of us and wash up and everything, go over there, put an apron on, knock the big ticket out and go back. And honestly, a lot of times, if they weren't 50 yards apart. Right. When I'd walk out the door and I kept thinking of that baseball game, I can't remember the name of it, that says, if you build it, they will come. Right. And I kept that in my mind that we would just keep on striving to build the building. And we spent about nine months renovating and building the building okay. and everything. Then we opened it, you know, 
shortly thereafter. Right. And after a couple of years of doing that, I got thinking and talking to my wife. I said, well, we got two kids. I got a daughter and a son. You know, people are telling us we need to come to Sheridan. And that building over there is fixed to go up for auction. We need to check it out. Right. And she was like, I don't think we need two locations. That's what our customers tell us we need two locations. We got two kids. They're going to fight over this one. So inevitably, we ended up with two buildings, one nice. over here in Sheridan. And my son came over here and finished high school over here. And uh, helps me. It's me, my son, and my daughter-in-law here. Okay. And it's my wife, my daughter, and my son-in-law that runs Pine Bluff. It's legitimately a family business. It's, yes, it is. 99% of the time, you will see someone of my family at either location. At either of the restaurants. I love that. Mason, why the restaurant business? I mean, this is a crazy business. I've been in it since I was 14 years old. Why the restaurant business well, specifically? I did 23 years in the grocery business. Okay. Working for a major grocery chain. and. Uh, we kind of practice some. I, I tell my deli manager we're working on Plan B. You know, we cook on the sidewalk, cook ribs in the holidays and stuff like that. Right. But just mainly as a kid, you know, 18 years old, I worked in that little restaurant to help a buddy out. And he tried to get me to run one of his restaurants there. He said, we'll, we'll build you one. You can have your own. I said, no, my life's going to be in the grocery business. That's, that's my whole goal of what I want to do. And then, uh, which I did for 23 years, and you know, finally decided I want to do something for myself. And you I'm know, sorry make to sure cut you off. Oh. That thing is so good. <laughs> it's good, stuff. It's good stuff. I want to make sure my kids had an opportunity that they didn't have to work for somebody else if they didn't want to. Right. Because corporate America, you know, 10, 15 years ago, they totally changed. It's not, it's not what you've done for them. It's what you can do next. Right. And uh, I was sitting writing on the walls that that wasn't. Wasn't the life I wanted to have the rest of my life, right. much less them have to go through it. Right. So we end up with two restaurants, one for her and one for him. Now their spouses both work for us. So wow. Uh, one of these days, me and Mama gonna get to retire. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the goal. That's definitely how you keep it in the family. Um, you guys have done a phenomenal job here, and the, the food is is even better. Um, before we go, where can we find you guys on social media and on websites and all that good stuff? Um, we have a Facebook account. Okay. For each location. Okay. What's That's the name all. of it? Rock Ranch House. Okay. Perfect. Thank you guys for having me and Thanks letting me coming. taste all your amazing food. I've had a great time in Arkansas. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Doggy, y'all need to get yourselves on down here, man. They have steaks, they have appetizer platters, they have ice cream, they got everything in between. I'm not trying to rhyme, but it happens sometimes. Y'all get on out of here.